As an American citizen like you and me, I have a right to my property, my possessions, and anything that I have purchased or been received in my lifetime as a present. There are people in law enforcement that steal treasures and collect trophies from people like me who are indigent, and there are people in a community who are already indigent who think that my property that I carry with me is theirs to ply from, to steal from, to take from, and they call it a take. I took this. Great. Does that mean you're powerful? It doesn't. What it means is that you're poor, and you have a poor heart, you have a poor mind, and you are poor of thinking. You see, we have rights in America, and those rights say that this face is mine, this body belongs to me, not you. I'm not a slave in your time. In life, we have the right to our food, and someone is always stealing from my food. The other day, I bought five boxes of inexpensive Pop-Tarts, blueberry Pop-Tarts, not my most favorite flavor, but pretty good anyway, for the value that I paid. Today, I'm finding that while I gave away three and probably ate three, that I only have now five left. Let's do the math on that, okay? Five boxes of Pop-Tarts with four uh, packages each inside. What do we get with mathematical science? We get that's 20 bags of Pop-Tarts. Why do I only have five or six left? I didn't give them away, but twice now someone's stolen from me. They've also stolen three cans of chicken from me. Why did they do that? I've had my uh, can opener broken now four times. Absolutely four different can openers broken by someone in the night. I didn't do that. And openly they think it's a game for them to play. American homeless deserve rights. We have the right to ourselves, we have the right to our property, we have the right to our records, and we don't have the right to be taking other people's lives into our hands. When I try to help someone, I try to help them intelligently and simply. At the present time, my hobby is sort of helping the geese to get ready to fly off for winter. But the reality is that's something that gives me peace, it's something that honors my pagan religion, and openly that's what we do in our faith. We take care of people, we take care of pets, quote unquote, that's not a pet for me, but I got a little Sally girl who just adores me, and I'd like that uh, wildlife clinic to come out and help me get that zip tie off her lip, and I've been trying for a couple months, uh, at least a month and a half, to try to get them to do that. But that's not the point. The point is, as a person of faith, as a person who's a U.S. citizen, as a person who knows my rights, you don't have the right to keep putting your hands on me, my face, my beard, my body, my property, my possessions, the presents given to me in any way, shape, or form. You have lied to yourselves about your version of human rights in the world. It doesn't match the legal treaties of America at all. It doesn't match the U.S. Constitution, and it most certainly doesn't match the Second and Fourth Amendment. The Second Amendment says, I have the right to self-defense, but you don't give them me that chance because you do this to me at night. How dare you put your hands on any man or any child or any woman in the night without their consent and without their permission or without your responsibility for doing something in love and kindness. The reality of life is that we have liars in America of every types, of every creed, of every nation, of every ethnic group, and of every tribe in the world. And I'm just covering it all because it's true. We've all seen it. But what it does is it ruins America.